Catald, C A T A L D, along with the first one. C U R H A N, everybody gets it wrong. How do you feel about today? I think it went very well. Uh, I think the court sees the importance of the issues, and that's why the full bench took it, and I'm optimistic as to the outcome. I understand Michelle was in court by laying in the back there. Uh, she originally said she wasn't going to attend, and someone said she wasn't. No, she was not. She was not. She was not. I'm sure they had survived. I guess the kids live alone. Are those, were those her friends here? I, I don't know if yeah. any of her friends were here or not. I know that she was not in attendance. General, the uh, justices seem to um, focus on when did her conduct go over the line, if it did go over the line. That can be interpreted both ways, and it's in your favor or you know, against you. How did you feel the arguments when they kept pressing and saying, well, what conduct did she commit that went over the line? And the prosecutor um, responded by saying it wasn't just the get back in the truck. It was more than that. We, it it comes back to we have just words here. There is no plus, if you would, as Dana argued successfully. I think you will be very successful in the argument, is that there was no plus here. We had dealing strictly with words. We have a person who was not present when he made his own voluntary decision to take his own life, and she did not do anything physical in nature. It was simply words. There is no plus. There's no addition to the words, the is speech. Any, is there any sense you got from the questions they asked you and the questions they asked the other side that leads you to any optimism or caution? No, I'm optimistic. I have been from day one of this case. I've been doing this for 25 years now. I read the law. I understand it. And it's not a case that should have ever been brought. Uh, we have statutes on the book, on the books. There's nothing clearly uh, defining the conduct that they are now saying is illegal. But because it's not clearly defined, uh, I'm optimistic that this court will see to it that it's for an, an act of the legislature. If the legislature wants to step in and outlaw this kind of conduct, it's for the legislature to enact legislation that would say it's illegal, it's a crime in Massachusetts to encourage suicide. But we don't have that here. And that's why the district attorney's office is stretching to try and fit these facts into a manslaughter prosecution. You obviously had fielding the questions there. Did you get any feeling that, uh-oh, the judges aren't buying my argument as they are? No, you, you don't really get a sense of, uh, you get a little bit of a sense of what they're thinking, but uh, all I can tell you is I know what they're struggling with, and that's what they asked me about. But uh, What are they struggling with again? Well, I mean, they're, they're trying to figure out where to draw the line, but I think in this case there is no line to draw.